Hi, I'm Isaiah Ryan, and today we're going to give you a quick recap on the two-way state champions in chess. So one of the things I've been working on that has allowed us to um, compete better at, at the state level this year was working on our end game. Without learning our end game better than we do um, the rest of the game, you don't really know how to finish it. If you don't know how to finish it, you're not going to win. Um, honestly, it hasn't changed a whole lot in the past years. Um, we've, we've got the same group of guys the past three years, but um, as a team we've developed um, an understanding better of how each of us plays, um, knowing our strengths, knowing our weaknesses, and knowing how we can build off of each other to beat the uh, opponents. Uh, we've definitely gotten stronger and closer and have bonded throughout the years. Conference is not nearly as competitive as it is at the state level. In our conference, um, we are one of the biggest schools at state. We are one of the smallest schools. A lot of the schools are from the suburbs um, that compete at the state level, and th they just have a lot higher resources and opportunities to learn things that we don't. So the competition level is a lot, lot stronger at state than it is at conference. Well, there's um, eight people on a, that play on a team, and it goes first board. If they win, they get 12 points, and then 11, then. 10 and so on and so forth until you get to 8 board which has 5 and if you win you get all the points if you draw you get half the points and the first team that goes 34 and a half or above wins the match it was definitely very exhilarating um, we've been working on this now for four years um, a lot of us guys have been playing together all four years, all, our varsity um, eight-man team is all juniors and seniors. Six of, or five of them being seniors. Excuse me. Um, so we've all been playing together for a while now, and it, it was just very rewarding to finally realize that hey, we actually did this finally. Checkmate. Next up for our chess team is nationals, which take place in Schaumburg on March 15th. Make sure to wish them luck. Now into 148 feet with Sarah. Now that activities like chess are over, more are starting up. Let's talk to Abby Aiken about their upcoming GI season. This is Abby Aiken, and we're going to chat with her a little bit about group interpretation. So because February is one of the busiest times for theater, how do you balance it all? Yeah, you're right. It really is a balance. You have to use your time wisely and not be making decisions that are going to take away too much time so that you can still focus on what you need to get done in order to stay on top of things and not fall behind. So how are you preparing for your hopeful 26th year at State for GI? <laughs> like I said earlier, it's all a balance of like trying to manage when you complete your tasks and like make sure you get everything done on time. So in between like class periods, you know, just looking over the script or mm -hmm. making sure that you know what we're studying, or not studying, but running before we go to rehearsal and just getting all of our lines memorized in time for the big, the big day. <laughs> what are you looking forward to most? I love how much of a family we all are in GI and contest play. We all get to know each other so well and we just work really well together and it's a really cohesive group and I'm really excited to just love people. We're excited to see where their season goes. Now onto bowling recap with Carter. Thanks Sarah. Now let's recap the girls bowling season. Did this season meet your expectations? Yeah, going into this season, we set the goal of winning regionals again like we did last year and then advancing to sectionals and then going to state again, but unfortunately we didn't meet that goal, but we still had a great season. Did you expect to be this successful this season? Honestly, no. I'm, like At the beginning of the season, I was not like doing good at all. And then as like it started getting to the end, like to regionals and sectionals, and I knew that like this was my last go at it and being a senior. And so uh, when we got to sectionals, I knew like if I didn't show up to bowl, that I was gonna be done. What a great performance by our bowling team! Now let's see how well our teachers know their songs. Thanks, Carter. Now let's flip the switch on our SHS teachers. Give it a shot. <laughs> 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 
Give it a shot. Whoa. <laughs> now let's switch it up to spring readiness with Ariana. Thanks, Marquise. Now let's take a look at how the spring sports have prepped for their seasons. Um, well, mostly when we have open courts, uh, we have drills to help the kids um, get back in the, for those that not play tennis, get back in practice, swing in, swing in tennis racket, and uh, do some running involved with the drills, things like that. Well, those that work in the off season uh, usually aren't as rusty at the beginning of the season. Um, they also get better as they compete with one another learn learn new things and get stronger. I have a lot of hopes and dreams for this season. Um, I expect a, a, a team that grows closer together, that competes um, for a conference title, that competes for a sectional title, and uh, hopefully sends more than just one person to state. All right, how long have you played soccer for? Um, two years. All right, what is conditioning like at practices? Basically, we run these halls and we run like laps, we run upstairs and we come back down and then we stop for a couple of seconds, get a drink and do the same thing over again. How do you think that's preparing you for the season? Probably to make us fit for when our games, because we do run a lot. All right, and what are your goals for the season? to get a lot of playing time, at least. Can't wait to see what's in store for spring sports this year. Now let's send it off to Giselle with Athlete Swap. Trying new things can be a challenge. Now let's see how our athletes do. Do you think you have the skills to be a cheerleader? I am not flexible at all, and I have no rhythm, but I feel like I have a lot of spirit, so. <laughs> do you think you have the skills to play basketball? No, <laughs> I am really uncoordinated, so no. <laughs> Maybe our athletes should stick to their sports. Now, signing off to Celso Tello from Sterling Street.